Hello everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and today we're looking at another cat scarf. So this time it's a children's one, so a small size and um, if you've looked at the other cat scarf that I made, which is an adult one, then um, you'll probably already know that uh, this is the pattern and I got that off I think Pinterest um, and it's a seller who is just um, uh, it's sending you the, the PDF really for the um, uh, for the pattern and so you can have it sent over and print it out so you don't have to leave home to get that one uh, nice and easy um, there is a little bit of it's it's been um, it's it's foreign it's, it's a foreign person who's um, who's uh, made the pattern and so there is a little bit of confusion in it so I found some bits that uh, particularly around the face area uh, tricky to follow it doesn't make a lot of sense that what's written down in the pattern but because I'm a knitter anyway I can kind of work out my own way of doing the face but that's something to bear in mind but um, you could keep the face shaping all one color or keep keep the line straight and that would just make it very simple then but she's given it a kind of arch over the face and it's not clear how to do that but um, but never mind, we've uh, we've managed. So uh, as I say, you could you could make a stripy cat, you could make a, a cat all in the same colour, and you wouldn't have any of those problems. So um, so not too bad. Anyway, here he is. So this is the black and white cat. So for this cat, he's um, he's actually somebody's cat. They asked me to make a replica. Of their own cat so this is Jake uh, Jake the cat so uh, so Jake is quite an unusual black and white cat in that he has all his underbelly and his legs are white and the bottom of his face is white and then the rest of him is black so the top so he's almost a cat in two halves the bottom under bottom and un under layers is white and the over the top is black so for that reason I didn't put any white into his ears because his ears seem to be very black as well so um, I've just put a little bit of shading over the top of his nose and uh, I've given him toy eyes that you can get from the craft shops. Um, you can make your own eyes in the pattern. They crochet the eyes with chain stitch and, um, and make it into a circle. But um, I'm not terribly good at crochet, so I haven't tried that yet. I would be able to do a chain stitch and, and have a go, but um, it's one I haven't tried yet. And as I've got some toy eyes, I thought I would go with that. So, um, so yeah, he's a scarf. And he's for a child so basically he goes around the neck and hangs down like that so um, again with the black and white one fairly straightforward because he was um, he was half because I did him half white and half black that was quite easy in the body because you fold then fold it in half so that was quite easy and to keep the legs white as well it, that made it quite easy so not as difficult as doing a multicolored cat or uh, somebody's asked me for a tabby so that's going to be fun so uh not quite sure how i'm going to do that one yet but uh but anyway i thought i would show you as i've made another one and so there you go that's uh that's jake the black and white cat and uh yeah i don't think there's much more i can say about jake you put the little paw shapings in so he on the front He's got paw shapings, there you go, underneath and over the top. And that just gives him, but you don't need to put those on the back because he'd be the wrong way up. His paws would be on the underside, on uh, on the back, so you don't need to uh, to do that. And what she suggests in the pattern is that when you make the legs and the tail, you do that on a circular needle. You put that all onto a circular needle. So it then follows the right shape as it's laid out so that when you fold it in half everything goes on top of it, each other so the legs match up and uh, and everything matches up so that is a good point because it does make it a lot easier to do that way so uh, so okay so we've got a bit of a, a Christmassy theme going on today as it's uh, as we're in the Christmas period so there he is Jake the cat and uh, if you like Jake the cat give me a thumbs up and uh, if you want to subscribe then um, I'm going to put on uh, very shortly I'm going to put on the um, the Inuit or the Eskimo and the Husky dogs 
which uh, and again because that's on a nice wintry Christmassy theme so uh, we'll have a look at those next thank you for watching bye